video, we will be understanding how to handle the reconciliation accounts in SAP Central Finance. Uh, the format is based on FAQs. And as we are progressing, so you see if we are far ahead in the journey we are now, this is the 19th video in FAQ format. And we have covered several topics, uh, basics of central finance, and now we are moving ahead with a lot of other areas. So first question is, what are, what are the reconciliation accounts? So this is a core concept of ECC. I will not speak much about it. Uh, you, everybody know who is watching this video, what is the reconciliation account? It's generally used for the sub-ledger accounts, vendor customers and asset accounts. And the actual posting happens to the vendors. For example, if you are purchasing, if you are paying, you pay it to the vendor. But in the master data of the vendor, customer or asset, you have a reconciliation account attached. And that reconciliation account is used for to summarize the all the vendor balances into your balance sheet. So rather than in balance sheet, you report each vendor, you just report the total balance. But for your operational purposes, for your payment, for your vendor reporting, DSO, DPO calculation, you have uh, vendor balances in vendor level. So if you see here reconciliation account type in GL master, we can define what kind of reconciliation account it is. So that's a core concept of ECC. Nothing changed here in S4 HANA. So how CFIN handles a reconciliation account? So when for vendors and customers, what happens is, of course, as if you see the first side, uh, sub ledger is attached to the reconciliation GL. Our GL is reconciliation GL account. And you map your vendor account, assume on first place in sub ledger box, you have a vendor, vendor is attached to a GL, and then vendor is mapped to a vendor and GL is mapped to a GL. So that's a very simple mapping you do. Uh, you map object to object and according to a mapping cardinality uh, or according to the mapping action, for example, if it is n is to one or it is a one is to one or if it is uh, keep data or if it is clear data, they based on your what uh, inputs you are providing in configuration, it accordingly derives the vendor and the customer subledger as well as the GL in the central finance system when the data is replicating. So the whole game is controlled by mappings and the mapping configuration. However, for asset account, the story is different. As I mentioned in another video that uh, central finance has a limitation uh, that uh, subledger data is not being transferred to GL, to, to central finance. So what it does is uh, when you post a subledger document, for example, purchase of asset or depreciation or transfer, you post it in, in your ECC, it goes in the similar way. You post it to subledger, it goes to the GL. But when it comes to the CFIN, it only only comes to the GL account. So what it does is subledger and reconciliation account posting happens in ACC. But when it comes to CFIN, it comes only at a GL level. So you have to be very careful that when you do the mapping of reconciliation account, it has for assets, it has to be mapped to a normal GL account, a non-reconciliation account in CFIN, so that it it allows posting. Otherwise, that posting will fail. And also, it is important to note that here, when the data is coming from ECC to CFIN, uh, the information like uh, asset, the master data related information like asset number or any other asset properties uh, <coughs> in like ANL1, ANL2, all those field values are being washed out. So those information is not being transferred. However, you have a body which SAP has given in CFIN. So if you implement that body, you can bring that information from ECC into CFIN, into CFIN, GL line item, but into the customer specific field. There is no specific field as such in CFIN. So that's how the vendors and customers are treated in a different way. Asset accounts are treated in a different way because asset accounting replication is a product limitation. It has not been uh, as developed in a way that asset account subledger uh, documents are being re replicated as subledger documents. Then we have another option. So this is the latest option which came in very, uh, I think a year ago. Uh, define handling of reconciliation account per company code. So this is in configuration. If you see in CFIN IMG, this is defined in configurations. What does it mean? So when you click this, it says you have an option. You redetermine if possible and keep. So what, what does it mean? The system user uses the master data in central finance system to redetermine the reconciliation account of AR and AP. So this first, first thing is this only works for AR and AP for the first area which I talked about mappings. So here what it does is is redetermine the reconciliation account 
based on CFIN configuration. And the another option is you can keep the postings are posted to the same reconciliation account in central finance system. If applicable, the accounts are mapped according to the system settings. So keep means it will only post to what is being coming from and what is being read through the mapping. But in redetermine, it can redetermine the GL account based on, for example, you map vendor to vendor, but you don't map vendor, you want to map a different GL account, a reconciliation account to the vendor. So it will determine from CFIN master data of the vendor where the posting will go at a GL level. So you, it can redetermine basically. If you put keep, it will not change anything. Another important point, if mapping, if after mapping the account differs from master data setting in central finance system, check the entries in customizing activity, define alternative recon account. So this is very critical. If you have already done the, done the movement, uh, mapping has been done, then you have to check if it is alternative reconciliation account is being uh, configured or uh, how that configuration is determining because it may impact this action which is defined above. Now the question comes, can I use this per object? For example, you say, okay, for vendors, I want to use it, uh, let's say, to redetermine based on master data, but for customers, I want to keep. So the answer is no. This is at company code level. So at company code level, either you have to redetermine or you have to keep, but you cannot differentiate by object that, okay, for vendor, I will do something else and for customers, I'll do something else. So it is very important to understand that your design has to be consistent because this configuration is, if you see here, it allows company code and the act, uh, action redetermine and keep. It does not give option of uh, company code and then another filter of vendor, you redetermine and company code, another filter of customer you keep. So there is no option as such. So you have to be very careful that design has to be consistent for both the objects. In summary, this applies to the vendors and customers both together. Nothing applies to asset accounting. Asset document is still remains same. There is no additional configuration. You just have to take care through the mapping functionality that how you are mapping your non your uh, reconciliation account in ECC to non reconciliation a simple GL account in S4 so that the data flow comes very successfully and it does not fail in AIF because of the reconciliation account error. That's all I have for today. Uh, if you see now, we have a lot of uh, videos available for several topics on central finance. So handling reconciliation account is the one you watch just now. Uh, I will come up with more videos uh, and more topics uh, specifically to CFIN area one by one and more in FAQ format. And very soon I will start a series for uh, configuration videos as well. Stay tuned and keep subscribing to the channel. Share the channel with your friends, colleagues, uh, Nitin Gupta SAP. You can find it on YouTube. Thank you so much and happy learning.